Hey guys, it's Beth from AB Home Decor, and this is the gutted state of the bathroom I'm doing the stage over for. This is where the vanity and the vanity light mirrors are going to be. And this is the shower area. And the next part is where the toilet and the actual vanity itself sits. And this is how it looks with the new flooring and vanity fixture in. The light fixture is a little too dim, so I'm going to actually help them pick out a new light fixture. So let's get into this video. Alright, so everything's actually in the bathroom. We're on our way to go and see what type of decor we can find. I'm excited. The homeowner's excited. So we're going to go to at home store. Alright, so I'm doing one quick once over trying to take a look at the room really quick to see how I can incorporate things when we go shopping at the at-home store. I'm going to take you guys with me, so I will see you there. Alright, so we're at home, no, the at-home store. We're at the at-home store. So far we got some, we got this cute waste basket. Oh, my battery's going to die. We got this cute rug to match. And we got some cute pictures to put. So the color looks like it's neutral to make sure the space in the bathroom isn't consumed with a lot of color that's dark. All right, guys, today I'm here and I'm trying to color coordinate with the gray in the bathroom. Alright guys, so this is the decor that I'm going to start with today. I got these florals I'm going to use and I'm just giving you a closer look of this backsplash so you see what we're kind of working with. I've got things set up already pretty much where I want everything and this wall here is where I'm going to hang these pictures. And it looks like the owner is going to have to do some touch up here with the paint. Alright guys, so this is just a quick overview of what we're going to be doing today. This is the carpet. We're waiting on the shower curtain. These are some knickknacks we got. And we're going to fill them. I'm going to tell you more about these florals that we're going to fill them with and also these pieces of artwork so as you can see the color scheme just want you to get a closer look of the backsplash and this wall right here beside it is going to be where we are going to put the art and yeah i want it to Make sure I didn't use a lot of dark colors. So as you see, there's some taupes and pink to kind of blend and bring out that gray. But um, let's get into this. I'm excited. Can't wait till you see what it looks like. All right, guys, if you were wondering, the florals came from Amazon.com. The palm vases also came from the at-home store. And there was this little particular cute carrier that I'm going to pick up that the owner liked. Not sure if she's going to keep it in the bathroom. This also came from the at-home store and they were actually 50% off. So that was pretty good. Alright, so I got these rolls. I got two of these rolls. Wall art pieces from the at-home store. And I'm going to put them on the wall using something that won't ruin her walls and it's something that I always use in my own home and they're the 3M command strip tape so I'm going to show you the area let me get a little bit closer all right so you can get a closer look back a little so yeah they're gonna go basically on the wall here this area beside the mirror and they were only $19.99 
They're really cute. All right guys, so I've got the wall art up and homeowner loves it. So excited that you're excited from the comments to see another home staging, which is awesome. So I'm going to try to keep them going as much as I can. And so I'm just super excited to have the opportunity. I'm honored. There are a couple of things that they're working on right now and it'll be, if you can see above me, replacing that light. So we're going to be almost at 100% complete. We are waiting on some things to come in. So as I record this, I'll let you know what those things are. I'm having fun doing this project. Been shopping online and in store. So it's also extra fun to be able to go into hey. the store. <laughs> Coming together. We're going to put these, we're going to test these curtains out and see what we think about them. So we decided to put another rod at the bottom of the curtains the and middle. put the tie in the middle. Or you can leave the rod out and just kind of have them flowing. It's kind of your preference. So, which one would you prefer? With or without the tie, or with the tie and a rod to kind of hold it down. I like that. Like this. This mm -hmm. is the original look. Mm -hmm. So, pretty cute. Let me know in the comments what you think. This was something we found on Amazon.com. And I think it was a good find, and they come in multiple colors. Just taking you to Amazon.com really quick so that you can see these curtains. So these have the little white pom-poms on them, as you can see. And they do have some in different lengths. So we just measured out our window, and we were able to pick the perfect size for the bathroom window. I love the tie backs because they're adjustable in three different sizes so you can have it as loose or as tight as you like. And again, I love the material. It's light but not too sheer so you do get some privacy. Plus it paired up really well against the frosted window in her bathroom. And also I want to show you those colors although they're out of stock right now at the moment at Amazon.com. When I ordered they had plenty. But let's go back and look. They have pink, orange, they have blue, they have purple, as you can see in the samples they have here. In case you want to check back later, just go back on Amazon.com. These were really reasonable. The size that I got were just $14.99. Can't beat that. All right, so these are the florals. I actually did something a little bit different with them than what I originally planned. I had some white, I added some white peonies. And what you're hearing now is the steamer <laughs> because I'm about to steam the shower curtain. Woo. That's hot. So yeah, I thought since the curtains are white, I would just Bring out a little natural color that's in the walls and the, bring out some of the color that's natural inside of the granite and the towel backsplash. 
and the homeowner likes that so we're gonna go with that I just thought of a tip I wanted to share with you guys when dealing with artificial plants and that's just the fact that I am at this at home Dot com. We were at the store, but I'm showing you the website and they have amazing potpourri scents. And I'm just looking at some of the ones, what I usually do when I'm using artificial flowers. I fill the bottom of the vases with the potpourri. It not only acts as a very good way to make them smell good, but it actually holds the artificial florals in place so they don't move all over the place. If you just take a look at all of these wonderful scents they have, I love the fact that you can find them for any season. They've got pumpkin spice. If you look at this one, they've got jasmine. They've got ratings so you can actually, if you're ordering online, see what other people think about them. And I did get one of these for the client's bathroom, so if you actually smell the florals, you will smell of a very beautiful scent. And the thing that I love about them, they have the matching aerosol sprays. Well, they're sprays that you can spray for air freshener, but if you decide you want to use them to refresh your potpourri or potpourri, you can spray them on there as well and get a brand new fresh scent and it lasts for a very long time. All right, that's just my tip. All right, let me give you the update, guys. Today, I've got things ordered. The shower curtains here just needs to be stained. I've got towel racks to put up. I've got the house to coordinate. I've got displays to try and decorate. So, gonna be a busy day but this is actually gonna be the final day the finale so I might actually come back in the morning and just refilm everything let you see the final all together put together look I don't know it depends on how long this takes because I actually have to drill I actually have to make some holes in the wall so yeah I am excited all right guys i'm on my way to the client's house but i need a cup of coffee first so i have my eight o'clock original medium roast coffee in the morning in my keurig and I am so ready for this coffee it's gonna be a long day I got so much stuff that came in my coffee maker is loud guys I might actually need a new one <laughs> I've had this probably for five years at one point I was getting a coffee maker every Mother's Day and I was just at the point like, okay, enough coffee makers. I don't have a place to store them all. <laughs> so I actually have one under my counter. Hey guys, I finished putting the towel rack up as you can see. So basically I came back and finished doing this part of the job. And there are anchors that we have to put up in here in the wall to hold this up to keep it sturdy. So I had to actually get some different types of anchors because the ones that came with this, I got this from Amazon.com, they were not real good anchors. So let's go ahead and get these towels up in here and get it styled. Avery is helping me out. So basically we have the shower curtain up, but it needs to be steamed. So I got my helper here, steaming. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start. Say hi, Avery. Hi. <laughs> All right, so I have done this one before. And I've got a tutorial. If you'd like to see how I style this towel, go ahead and hit that link above if you'd like to see that at some point. But 
I have done this plenty of times. And you just take a rubber band. I've got an oversized headband. That's the color of the towel. So you won't see it too much. I got this from Walgreens. You can get them from Dollar Tree. All right, so then I'm going to go to step two. All right, let me see. All right, so step two is to insert a roll here, and I just happen to have one. Thank you. So this one is a mixture of uh, the pink and the white, and we have the white and gray on the outside. We're just trying to add some of the colors that are already in the bathroom decoration. And sometimes you have to adjust it so that the part that sits at the bottom is kind of hidden. You just want the smooth edges showing and not the edge that you ended with when you rolled the towel. All right, so step two is done. We put the roll in the bottom, which is just two towels in pink and white so that we can bring out some of the colors that are in the room. Step three is to fold down this part of the towel to cover the elastic that's holding the towel up here on the rod, the towel rack, and you just pretty much bring it forward. And if you need more towel, you can pull on it to extend it because you want to cover everything like the tags, the elastic. Now to help us with the actual elastic, there is a trick I use. You can buy these at Bed Bath & Beyond. They're just curtain tie backs. And then I put a brooch on it as well to give it a little bit more extra hold. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the what is it? Curtain tie back. So this is the curtain tie back. So you're just gonna put it back here. And if you'd like to know how I folded these tiles, again, you can go ahead and look at the tutorial. I'm sorry. Take this and put it underneath the actual band. And tie it. to give it a nice little rope finish or tie finish. And then you're going to take your brooch. It's the last piece. Cute brooch you can get from Walmart. They do not cost a lot. And you're just gonna basically put it in the front. And you can put this on the towel itself. And that will help you keep this fold it nicely. You don't have to worry about your fold moving at all. So that's just a trick I've learned over time. It's not in my last tutorial because one of the things I noticed that was happening was that it was moving a lot more than I wanted it to. And when I did this, I didn't have to worry about the towels dropping. And guys, I'm going to show you this a little bit more. If it looks a little bit like you need to adjust it, you can go ahead and get it even. So let's go ahead and give you a closer look. All right, so I am loving the colors. I've got the white on gray for the towel that's here for the decorative item. And it matches the shower curtain, as you can see. It has the white decor. Well, it's like a rose type of a pattern. Here it is on Amazon.com. I love the fact that it came in different lengths. So it's not just the standard size. If you have very tall ceilings, you can get this in the tall length as well. And it just looked really like a white sequence type of material that the rose was made out of, but it's just cotton when you get it in, in person. That's what it looks like. But either way, it wasn't sequenced like I thought it was, but I like this anyway, since it matches. 
All right, the other thing I wanna show you that we got from amazon.com is the light that we switched out. Remember, we were gonna switch light fixtures. So I wanna take you to amazon.com's website and just take a look at this light. I thought it was very unique. And the fact that you can have it, the lights going facing um, upward or downward, but it comes in two bulbs or you can get three bulbs or even four bulbs. So we got three that fit her vanity very nicely. And it comes in three colors. It came in bronze, chrome, and it came in nickel, which fit her bathroom accessories. Now I love, 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 I had to mention this, that you can face these lights downward or upwards. So we ended up facing them upward really love these lights so happy that the client loved them as well all right guys i'm going to try to give you an overhead view of the bathroom so you can kind of feel like what it feels like standing inside of this room i actually do want to point out that i did mention to the owner that i would be more than happy to touch up the paint that needed to be touched up because some of the paint i guess peeled off when they were taking the tape off but they did not want me to do that because it wasn't my fault. So they wouldn't let me do it, but I really wanted to do it just to give it a total perfect look for them. All right guys, so that is actually the review for this bathroom. It was fun to actually see something that was torn totally to nothing basically and just re totally done into a brand new look. Homeowner's happy, I'm happy, and I can't wait to show you guys my next project. I actually have about three lined up, so I know it's taking me a little longer to get out there and put more videos, but I'm making sure you guys know that I'm watching you still, and I'm even trying to give you guys some shout outs. So I'm trying to get to everybody, and um, you guys hang in there, be patient with me. Let me know in the comments what you think about the bathroom. I love the fact that it was a smaller area and you don't have to do too much. And someone asked me about decorating a smaller space as far as the bathroom. So I was really happy that I was able to do this one so that you can kind of get an idea of what I mean. It doesn't take a lot, just some accents and some color that's coordinating and then a pop of other, another color that will just bring it all together. All right guys, so thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to our next home staging. I'll see you guys on the next one. home decor and today's video I'm doing a collaboration with public goods I can't wait to show you what's in this box here they sent me some goodies but first I want to let you know that you can check the description box and you'll see a code that you can use and it's also here on the screen but first let me just tell you a quick little bit about public goods and why I chose to do a collaboration with them public goods is a membership and direct-to-consumer company with the simple belief that safe and sustainable products should be accessible to all. So I've got some cleaning products and I've got some really, really good smelling soy candles I want to share with you. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and go through each of the products one by one when we get over to my client's house because as you know, I am staging their bathroom. And what I like to do is make sure everything is nice and clean when I leave their place. So I've got some surface cleaners and some glass cleaners. And I'm also gonna do some scent testing with the soy candles and see which one we like the best. So come along with me and let's go check out these products in this box. Everything's packaged really good. I'm gonna show you the first two items that I'm going to be cleaning with from them. Alright, so 
So here's the first item. It's a surface cleaner. As you see, pure, no dyes, and fresh, clean scent. And since we're in the bathroom, we're also going to be cleaning the mirrors. So I like to leave the places that I stage clean. So I'm gonna try this today. It's a glass cleaner because it can get a little messy when you're doing that. And of course, after things are clean, I like a fresh scent. So this lavender and vanilla candle smells really good. Let's put these products to work. As I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be using the Public Goods Surface Cleaner. You can already see it's color free, but it's also paraben free, gluten free, natural fragrance, cruelty free, vegan friendly, and gray water friendly. And it does have a really nice clean scent. Very light, nothing overwhelming. So you wouldn't have to worry about mixing fragrances if you wanted to use a nice candle after you were done, like I do in my bathroom. All right, so let's go ahead. We got a little grime in here. and see what we can do. Get a little closer so we can see that. All right, so I'm just gonna get this surface really clean for the client. And it's doing a pretty good job. Looks shiny, smells really fresh. So yeah, for this product, I would definitely get it. I'm always looking for something to be gentle on my countertops, be it in the bathroom or the kitchen. And you can also use it for your towel. So the next thing I want to try out is actually the mirror glass. You see a little residue on there. I'm gonna see how this glass cleaner works. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check out this glass cleaner. It is also paraben free. It's vegan friendly, sulfate free, gluten free, gray water friendly, and cruelty free. So I like the fact that it's clear. You have no colors. So they give you a lot in this product. All right, guys, this is the glass cleaner. I'm trying to get off the little pieces that were sticking. So most of the times I use a microfiber on my surfaces, but this actually did just fine, which is one of the things I was wondering if it would be streak free and it is. All right, so take a close look at that. All right, so we're gonna do our smell, see which one, our smell test, see which one the client likes the best. So this one is the Cedar, cedar Suede. Okay, that one's a thumbs up. So we got two people so far that think that's a thumbs up. All right, you know my favorite is the lavender and vanilla, but we're gonna let you smell that one last. So this one is the black currant. Smell that one. Let me know what you think. So you like the other one better? Yes. Okay, guys. Okay, and our last but not least one is lavender and vanilla, soy candle. All right, so what do you think about that one? It's good, but I like the first one better. So you have a perspective from two different people. I cleaned the mirror with the glass cleaner. I cleaned the surface with the surface cleaner. And it looks shiny, streak free, so I give it a thumbs up as well. All right, guys, so this is the end of another video. I want to give a thanks to Public Goods for this collaboration. And I'm going to definitely be purchasing.
from Public Goods and I suggest you guys too so don't forget to check out that description box and get my code go on their website and I will see you all on the next one